Okay, next build is a suite of tools based on uh, Boreal Basic for the Spectrum Next. Uh, you can find it on um, Imuk's GitHub um, page. There's a, a link to the ZX Next UK page, which is about it. Um, it uses um, VS Code for the version 7. It, there was a previous IDE for version 6 bar IDE, but that um, you're probably better off using version 7. So looking at the ZX Next uh, UK page, this describes the tools and gives a couple of videos um, on Imuk's um, YouTube page about version 7. It says it's intended for beginners and pros alike. Lower down the page, there's information about Bore IDE, the uh, version 6 um, IDE. But for this video, we'll be concentrating on um, version 7 using VS Code. So installing, um, you go to the uh, GitHub um, page for a MOOC and then pull down the uh, zip file. So if I then uh, copy, uh, copy the files out of that and drop them onto my D drive, uh, you can see there's a couple of readme files, there's a PDF manual, and then there's a couple of programs. So have a quick look through the readme files. They're slightly different. Um, it tells you a bit about um, next build and version 7 and how to use it um, using VS Code, how to set it up. There are five extensions that, um, that are included which you need to add to VS Code. We'll go through that in a minute. And then uh, next build produces next NEX files as well as um, the TAP files from uh, Burial Basic and then the readme lists some of the some of the um, some of the graphics capabilities of next build, and then the readme the readme.md file um, slightly different information, so it's worth having a quick look through. And then there's a PDF manual. I'll come back to that in a minute. The next build launcher.exe that runs up the v6. Um, ID bar ID. So really, that's just there for historical purposes. You might have been using this previously. If you come into it new, you're probably better off just using VS Code on V7. So that starts up bar ID. You can see that it's uh, a 2010 program, so it's a bit, it's quite old now. And then the manual has got quite a bit of information in there, eight pages of information. Tells you about version 7, how it creates any X files, the preferred ID is Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can use Windows, Linux, and Mac. And then there's some information about preprocessor pre -processor options, which you come on to possibly later when you're developing. And then there's an example of a Hello World um, BAS file that you can, you can use. Um, a key thing is to use the run build task to build to compile your code and run it up into C spec. Something that I missed um, by not reading this manual, so I really should have read that, read this to start with. And then it uh, shows you compiling. You can see the the information that you see when you compile on the screen, and how to uh, look for errors. And then towards the bottom. Um, there's information on the um, commands that you use to access next graphics. So you've got commands like uh, load SD bank, load bit, BMP, bitmap, um, layer scrolling, and so on. So it's worth having a look through this manual. And then you've got uh, launch VS code.bat, and this is how to run um, the version 7 environment using uh, VS code. If you don't have it, uh, it'll install it for you. And it opens um, the folder sources, and you can see there there's a, um, a whole bunch of examples that you can have a look through, demos and so on. It asks you if you want to install um, some extensions uh, for next build, so you do. There's five of those. Um, you can see on the top left there's next build, Andromeda, NEX, File Viewer, ASM Code Lens, and Bookmarks. Um, so yeah, the, the most important one is uh, next build. 
so that's got some information on the uh, basic commands that you can use and also the uh, next commands that you can use. So Bur Burial Basic I looked at in a previous video. Um, so you can use all the features of that within next build. So if you install that and then go through, install the other extensions, NEX file viewer. Some of these you might come on to later when, you, when you're actually doing some development. You might not need them straight away, but install them anyway. Then a 7 Code Lens um, development tool. Andromeda, Andromeda um, this gives you a different theme. I actually prefer a darker theme, so I set um, Andromeda back to a more back to a darker colour. And then you've got a books, bookmark extension as well. So having installed the extension, you can then go on and look at some of the demos. So the first one is first example dot BAS. Um, so what this does is it changes the border color in a loop. So if you go to terminal and then run build task down at the bottom, you can see the um, program compiling and it then loads it into C-Spec. So you see that the bullet border has changed to red and then it'll change to blue and then back to red and so on. Then the next example I'm going to look at is uh, my first test.bas. Uh, and what this does is it loads in um, a font, font3.spr, and then it displays hello there using that font like so. And then the next example, uh, copper example.bas, um, this displays uh, is a it's an example of uh, graphics, quite a jazzy example. You've got um, uh, sideways scrolling uh, graphics, so it's quite cool. And then there's the holy moly dot bass um, game. So this is a game written by David Sapphire to, as a demo. So you can look through the code and see how it's been built. Um, and use, and use it to help you develop your own code. So you have this pink uh, character that comes in from the top left. Uh, you've got to pick things up without getting bashed by the boxing glove, which drops down when you go near it or underneath it. I'm not very good at this game, um, but it is just a demo really, just to see how we can do this kind of thing. And watch out for that uh, boxing glove, which will hit you on the head. And then finally there's a, a dancer um, demo uh, built for New Year, and it shows uh, more graphics capabilities, it's quite a cool little demo. I don't know if that's a MOOC himself. So once you've had a look at the demos, you can go on to write some of your own code. Um, so an example from the Boreal um, website is how to do um, a hello world. So if I create a hello.bass file and then drop that code in, I don't need the line numbers. Uh, Boreal basic doesn't need line, line numbers, which is pretty good. And then if I just grab the top um, section of the first example.bass file and drop that in, um, that'll give me the next lib um, library. And then if I run that, uh, it runs up, but it actually just uh, bombs, bombs out. And the reason for that is you need um, an infinite loop at the end of your basic file um, otherwise it'll just crash out so if I just put um, a loop on the end of that code and then run it again and this time it works and you get hello world so if I wanted to add a bit more to this, if I go to the Burial website um, in the wiki, there's some examples of um, 
how to write uh, Borough Basic code. So if I drop down to some of those uh, sample programs, and then um, go into circle dot bass, and this draws a circle pixel by pixel using plot. So if I just um, pick up that code and then drop it into my Hello World program and then run that using Rumble task, it compiles and then starts up C-spect and you've got the circle being drawn. And then if I want to add a bit more, I could go into lines.bass uh, random color lines example if I pull that out that's got line numbers in but um, you can have uh, code with that mixes and line numbers and no line numbers it's up to you depends on person preference whether you like line numbers or not so if I run that it draws the circle and then uh, starts drawing the colored lines it's quite a cool example and then the final example is if I want to include some assembler code uh, in my basic um, this code um, it looks at a string and works out um, what a particular letter is and tells you in decimal what, what that is so the string is a man, a plan, a canal, Panama and if I say letter, if I want three That'll pull out the fourth letter so as it starts from zero. And that's the letter A. So the letter A in hex is 61. So if I run that code. It should display the um, decimal for hex 61, which is uh, decimal 97. So if I just check that that uh, 97 in decimal is it in fact 61 in hex which it is so that's a quick look at uh, next build um, quite a cool set of tools worth having a look at uh, something I'll come on to when I finish my my own projects thanks for watching